morning. We left uh, the Blue Heron uh, cheese and wine tasting uh, <coughs> harvest host site. Great place to spend the night. Uh, left this morning about 8 o'clock, just a few minutes ago. Got some gas. We headed up to uh, Lewis and Clark's uh, winter camp in uh, 1805. So I'll put it in the print. <laughs> but uh, that should be an interesting stop. And then we're off to Washington, so we'll be on our beautiful state. Here's some of the coast leaving uh, Tillamook. Uh, forgot to mention, it was it was pretty cool this morning, about 35 degrees, and it, it had rained last night, so it was just damp. Uh, pretty cold. We survived down comforters and a heater. The generator was a bit last night to keep warm. Look at all the steam. Beautiful. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a fog, a mist. A big a mist. Hang in there. Another great thing about Oregon, must be a state law or something, every time you stop to get gas, somebody would pump your gas for you. That's so true. That, That's so weird. Little tip. Uh, and they pumped your gas. It was it was great. Uh, no more smelly diesel hands. Thought that was kind of fascinating. And the gas prices were so much better in California. Well, this is Rockaway Bay. There's Rockaway Beach. And diner. Beach bake shop. Kind of cute little beach town. But this place pops there in the summer. This is one of one of the pull-offs along uh, 101. Uh, State of Oregon is so graciously put here. This is Haystack Rock, and the reason I know all this is because I'm standing in front of the sign, and it said the view to the north. You, you can see Cannon Beach. Unfortunately, I think we're a little too fogged in for that. And let's see, uh, several other points of interest along here, reading from the map. Here's a historical marker we came across uh, about William Clark, and perhaps 14 of the expedition reached a Tillamook village of five cabins on a creek, which he named Oak o e Cola, or Whale Creek. They had come back with whale blubber given to them by the beach Indians. They found the uh, whale's 105 foot skeleton. Some oil and 300 pounds of blubber were brought from, bought from the Indians at Ecola Creek, who were busily rendering the whale meat with hot stones and wood troughs. Cannon Beach, named after the cannon, washed ashore on this beach from the USS Sloop of War Shark, which was wrecked while attempting to leave the Columbian, Columbia River on September 10th, 1846. Oh, uh, this is a replica. That's it? Yep. Arriving at Fort Clatsop National Memorial on the left. It's arrival by Stanley Wenglass. Wenless commemorates the explorer's great achievements in reaching the Pacific Ocean in 1980, the Fort Clatsop Historical Association commissioned a sculpture to celebrate the 175th anniversary of the Lewis and Clark Expedition. Meriwether Lewis at top, William Clark at the bottom, and uh, the guy in the middle is a Sop Indian. And Lewis's Newfoundland dog, Seaman. The map has a, existed just uh, as the United States was purchasing the, uh, the, the Louisiana Purchase, doubling the size. That was in 1803. This is a replica built in. 2006, I guess the replica built in 1954, 
was was destroyed by fire. No, there was nothing left of the original one, but they they redid it based upon the plans that uh, Lewis had put in his journal. built around the wall, a little fireplace. I'm sure there's probably one in each. Just a similar copy, huh? Yeah. Yep. There was, what, 33 of them. Uh, I have no idea. We can ask Sally. What's this? This must be a big fire. This must be like the kitchen area or something. Yeah, I'm not gonna be. I know. Look at it. You got a flag and shirts and bed, regular beds with blankets. Oh, yeah, those. That's Lewis and Clark's place. Then. Yeah. They got a bigger fireplace and tables and just the two beds. In. Fort to see on the trails in between. Seacoast is seven miles distance. And these are Sitka spruce. They're pretty good sized trees. Okay, this is Ranger Sally and she's going to explain the the little guard shelter. So someplace in or next to the fort they built a, a covered area for the soldier on guard duty because it rained almost every day they were here and they would rotate guard duty. Um, three soldiers would be the guard and, and an individual would be on duty two hours on, four hours off, two hours on, four hours off till dawn the next day they'd be replaced by the next folks. We're not sure if that's the correct placement of the little sentry box, but it makes sense from there. The soldier could see who's coming and going through both of the gates. They could announce guests to the captains and keep an eye on the locked room um, off the orderly room where they uh, had um, probably trade goods and probably ammunition and extra tools and things like that. So um, it, it, it's a logical spot to put it, so maybe that's where they had it. And the one little cabin with the two beds in it, that was... Uh uh, Lewis and Clark's yeah, room? Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah, that's the nicer one. It has a real fireplace. The other rooms had fire pits. Um, oh, yeah. It's a little you. more privacy there. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you, Sally. You're very welcome. Okay. Miles, turn left on Estonia Bridge. Turn left on Estonia Bridge. Thank you, Brittany. You're welcome. Full of beds, and you say there's a bowling alley here? And a movie theater, and a restaurant, and a big gift shop. Very nice. Very nice. If you, but you have to be military of some sort. You know? Well, this is the view from the back of the RV. We'll have to go down and explore the beach later. Oh, well, made it down to the beach. A little bit of a hike. In the mid low 50s, a little breezy down here though. We're up, camp just up on those uh, on that bluff up there. That's the campground. I'm 
piece of the, uh, the road going back up. It's going to be a little challenge. And of course, on the other side is the ocean. Well, good morning. We left uh, Pacific Beach this morning about 8 o'clock. It's about uh, 10 now. Uh, drove up to Olympic National Park. We made it to Quinault. Going to stop by the ranger station. Forgot it's Saturday. They were closed. So now we're uh, on our way. Hold on a second. I'll tell you. We're, <laughs> You're not very prepared. <laughs> we're, we're on our way to Kalalak Cala uh, Ranger Station. Just a little bit down the road here. But we saw this uh, along the, the ocean here and I thought it was pretty neat. Pretty nice sight. Uh, as the burls on the trees and the, and the greenery almost like a rainforest. A little cold this morning started out about 32. Uh, it's uh, about 40 now. It's getting up to about 40. Uh, hopefully it's going to get up to 50. So we're debating which part of the parks we're going to we're going to drive through and see today. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> we'll, yeah, we'll fill you in. Give you a little bit of the scenery here. I'll get out of the way and you can show them some of the burrows. Yeah. Burrows on the tree. That's pretty cool. The ocean in the background. No? Yeah, there's a path. There's a bridge. I don't know how you get across all that driftwood. Driftwood and riptides, I guess. Pull you right back out. But these trees are cool. Ranger Station. It's closed. Yep. Okay, off to the visitor center. We're headed into the uh, park to the Mount of the Hawk Rainforest Visitor Center. It's up here probably 15 miles or so. Fly guys, fishing, are you? Uh, guys up at Waders Fly Fishing. Got about 20 elk here on the side of the road heading into the Hawk uh, Rainforest. It's too bad we don't have any big males with the antlers. Fire video. Yeah, that's in uh, the last episode. Just about like cows just sitting there grazing. Beautiful though. Oh my god. The back backdrop. Some more of the drive into the visitor center of the, the hot grain course. Well, that must be Mount Olympus in the background back there with the snow. That's the name of the river. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Ho? Hawk? What did I say? We'll find out. Okay, this is uh, Rachel, Ranger Rachel. Hello. <laughs> First, I need to know how to pronounce the river. The river is Ho. Ho. The Ho River. Okay, yep. I've been calling it Hawk. It's Ho. <laughs> okay, and yeah. views of uh, Mount Olympus, can we get those from here? Uh, not from here. The closest place to go is actually hiking all the way out on the Ho River Trail. And this time of year, that's still under snow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> well, it's, they, it's uh, a little bit much to do in one day. Yeah. Okay, and we also heard that there's uh, some closures, road closures up at the northern yes. end of the park. So the north end of the park, um, Hurricane Ridge is open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. Um, and then the Elwha Road, the Olympic Hot Springs Road here is closed right after you get to the trailhead from Madison Falls uh, okay. because the Elwha River flooded and washed out the road. Oh, okay. So we're still waiting um, to hear about road repairs for this, uh, but you can hike up that road if okay. you wanted to. Views similar to what they are here? Uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, a little bit different forest. Uh, you have more Douglas fir trees over here. The whole area is mostly Sitka spruce and western hemlock. No redwoods. I saw some pretty no big. Redwoods, I saw some yeah. pretty big trees. A little too far north for those. Too I far think. north for redwoods. Um, there may be some folks. I've heard of a couple of redwoods in Forks. Oh um, really? People, okay. If you plant them here, they will grow, but they are not uh, native trees. Yeah. yeah okay. They so they end up north. in Oregon somewhere. Is yeah. Finish it. up in the lower part of Oregon. Okay. Yeah. Hey, thanks, yeah, thanks for the you're info. You're welcome, yeah. Good okay. luck with the blog. <laughs> Thank you. These are the guys we saw on the way in. The Olympic Park protects the largest unmanaged herd of Roosevelt Elk. It was near extinction in 1900. Let's see. Right there, okay. Step away. You're right there. What's that? 72, 6 foot, 11, 10, 9, 5 foot 9. Well, we still have snow piles left over from when they plowed the parking lot in the shade area. Give you a sense of the size of some of these spruce. There are no slouches either. We're leaving the hole. Notice I pronounced it correctly. Oh, Lake. Oh, Lake. Oh, the rainforest section of the Olympic uh, National Park. Uh, after talking to Rachel, uh, Ranger Rachel, we decided we we're going to head south uh, with the road closures and going on on the north end of the park. So we'll see where we end up. the bridge over the Hunt Tulips River. Can we go over this before? No, we came, came over from oh, yeah, the Pacific go Beach. Okay. So, so we're going to go. I'm going to Well, open daily 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and it's 4.16. Let's see. So I was going to ask them, but I got a feeling. That's Mount St. Helens right there. Way off in the distance.